Dawn and myself, our husbands and our family, we definitely appreciate you guys so much for coming out and celebrating Dawn and Pam. Reg and I have been married 12 years. Don's been married 10, 10 years, and we still don't add up to half. <laughs> half of 50 years. So that is definitely a blessing and a testimony and a testament to what just dedication is, right? Yes. So, we, so thank you, Mom and Daddy, for setting the example. I don't know. They even stand together. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> thank you, Mom. <laughs> Believe that. But thank you guys so much for setting an example and just showing us that it works and God works and, and that's the, that's that's the hundred percent reason why we know and we know that Reg and Eric don't have a choice. Like <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is it. I mean, so again, thank you guys so much and we are getting ready to get started. The band is ready. Oh look who just walked in on time ready to bless the food. Praise the Lord. Thank you. is going to bless our food for us. Uh, so we walking in, she walked right in on time. Didn't she? Mm -hmm. So she's going to bless the food, so we're going to get some music started. We're going to enjoy some music, guys. The bar is open and the drinks are flowing, and we want y'all to have a good time. All right, thank you again. Thank you. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Yeah. Amen. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Eternal God, we are so grateful today for the love you have bestowed upon the Skinner family. Lord, 50 years ago, you brought together Don and Pam, and we say thank you. Lord, you covered them with a special kind of love that lasted 50 years and going strong. Lord, you gave them two beautiful daughters and a parcel of grandchildren, and we say thank you. As we've gathered here to celebrate them, allow the food to be served and eaten and appreciated, and God, we all give, we give it all over to you, for you are the author and finisher of our lives and of our day, and we ask it in Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
Which one is trouble? Where is trouble? I don't know, honey. I found oh. the one that was right. Don't believe that. You trust me now, Don't believe that. Everybody does. She's the trouble right there. <laughs> Thank you, ladies.
Yes, Lord. <laughs> When she called my name, that's right, I've known her longer than any of you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> she's precious. She'll do anything in the world for you. Yes, she will. Yeah. She's precious. Yeah, she does it. Yeah, she does it. Yeah, she does it. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Ms. Riley. Yeah. 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 I know I'm going to do it wrong, but I'm going to do it. Uh, I got my mother in law here. <laughs> And she has her nieces and nephew here. I adopted them. <laughs> and I told them that they were just my cousins. Because <laughs> they didn't like me at first. Oh, no! But that was all right. I got in there, baby. <laughs> all right, I got up. Uh, in 1959, when I went to Curry, <laughs> I met. <laughs> uh, I met Lawyer Weber, Archie Weber, Jonelle, what was Jonelle's name? <laughs> what was Jonelle's name? And Carlin Alton. I met them in 1959. We went to Prairie View and we all got in the dorm and we stayed together. And Gloria was scared of her roommates. So we had, she came in and got in the room with me. So uh, that's what that was. So that's how we met. And we have been <laughs> good. Day. We have been together ever since. And I married Don, and they loved Don just like they loved me. They, when we got married, he was right there. And when Jolia got married, we went down to her wedding, and. He didn't know me when I when Lordy married, cause she's been she's older than me. <laughs> she's been married longer than me. <laughs> then when we came to Dallas, when I came to Dallas, I had Faye Walker. That wasn't her name. Faye Anderson. Uh, Cheryl, we met Cheryl Cash. We met. Jeannie, Jeannie, uh, Jeannie, and we met Mary Helen. And Don and I, then we started playing cards. And we started being friends. But Don and I met at a party. Oh. We have always liked parties. <laughs> and we met at a party, and he saw this pretty. Oh. But now he doesn't talk at all. I guess that's what happens after 50 years. And then we met all of the other people. Alonzo was there. Alonzo was the uh, best man. And we had all these people. And I went and for, uh, old folks, uh -uh. old folks was there. Y'all don't know the old folks. <laughs> and we just did, all, we just parted all the time. And I'm going to tell you this. We had a party one time that lasted a, long, a weekend. You would go home and come back and you would come home and we would party the whole weekend. One joke on my husband. What is that white stuff that used to be in the on the mail? Anthrax. Anthrax. My husband would not let the kids get the mail out of the mail. 
and he wouldn't let me get the lead out of the box. He said it might be some Amtrak song, so let's don't Amtrak. bother. Amtrak. <laughs> <laughs> so what did he do? He, he put a, a gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Thank you, Jeanette, for one of you um, for sticking with us all these years. Fifty years is a long, is a long time. And, uh, and especially my mother. Uh, exactly. I'm so proud that she's here with me. Uh, I'm not going to say very much. I clearly but from my heart. I love each and every one of you. And uh, continue with us. We get down this road, we're going down. And uh, hopefully everything will be all right. Amen. Thank you so much. So much for everyone for coming. Yeah. Amen. You say we got 10 more years. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, the band is going to come up and they're going to play The Look of Love. That's the song that my parents danced to at their wedding. So hopefully we can get them to dance today. <laughs> couple of pictures and then we're going to have a champagne toast and then we're going to have some um, words from their fa their friends slash family because they're so close to us they're their family so um, again thank you all for coming i'm going to do a toast after we hear the look of love and then we're going to you know open the floor up uh, if you would like to say something to my mommy and my daddy i mean i mean i guess she's danielle you know we all think danielle's adopted but I'm not uh -huh. from a beautiful couple one more time, y'all. Yay! You being a part of our life, uh, we, I really don't consider anybody in here uh, not family. So thank you for being our family, extended and close. Uh, I want to give it up for if you know my parents, you know that they, um, my dad is an entrepreneur, of course. and we support African American entrepreneurs. So our establishment is African American, catering African American, band African American, decorations African American. So let's give it up for all of those that came to support us. To Don and Pamela Skinner. Thank you so much for all that you've done, all that we've seen you do in taking care of your parents and helping us be better daughters and wives in supporting our vision, whether you understood it or not. And we thank you for loving us unconditionally and showing us what true love is and surrounding us with a village of people that know what true love is. This is not by accident, it's by appointment. So we thank you and in this day we celebrate you. Cheers. I'm sorry. Again, I, I did not recognize my feelings. So I have some aunties and uncles that want to say something. If they want to say something, I move out the way and let them say something. So we have our aunties and uncles. Auntie Shirley is first. Don Skinner, where are you? I'm making a toast to you. Come stand by your lovely bride. It's my goddaughter. So, many of you don't know that I have been around the world with my husband uh, and I. 
plan to join Laudia and Archie on a Mediterranean cruise. Little did we know that my husband was going to join us. So I have been all over Europe, New York with Pam. But Don, my anniversary wish is for you to come with us. It is time for you to stop talking about, I'm not getting on a plane, I'm not getting on a ship. And if we can't get anywhere but to uh, Corpus Christi. <laughs> but this is my anniversary wish and my love to both of you and many, many more. Cheers. I'm Faith Walker. I introduced Pam and Don to a whole lot of the friends. Pam, Gerald, Mary Helen, Dee. What are you looking at, Pam? So looking at me. I'm looking at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want you to know that. Oh, I want you to know that when Pam married Don, I liked them, but I didn't think they had been married two years. <laughs> to be a good husband, and a good daddy, a perfect daddy, and a good friend, and Pam, I love Pam like she's a sister from another mother. But anyway, we love the girls, we love the little boys, and we hope that you all are here more than 10 years. Was my roommate 
Uh, back there, there were three very, very wise yeah, mothers who decided that these three little immature girls needed to go to Pro Review the summer before September started. So, we were there, Claudia, her name was Johnson, and my name was Wilson, and you were Pamela Mitchell. Yes. And we saw Pamela, we heard Pamela, Pamela before we saw her. <laughs> And things haven't changed. She's still a very, very vocal, active <laughs> friend that we love dearly. Fortunately, this friendship lasted until today, and I hope it goes on forever. We met as college freshmen, and we've been in touch ever since. Our love is for each other is totally unconditional. We pray that you and God will have many, many more happy years together. And Lord knows I love my nieces. They married some boys I can like and not know the love of friends. We are nephews. Everything is just wonderful. I'm very happy to have known this family Thank you. and to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm Maria Weber and from Texas. We're now living in Atlanta. Pam and Jonelle are my sisters. We met in 19 blank <laughs> at Prairie. Uh, I came in and uh, when Jonelle told you, Mother left, and it's like, what am I supposed to do? Well, I walked down the hall and I heard Pam. <laughs> And so I just went on in and said, I think I can do this thing here because I have found a friend just that quick. And that friend turned in to be a sister for me and for Archie. And fortunately, that was in 1959, and we talked almost every day. And I, Don came in as my brother, and I loved him. And the girls, last night, uh, Don tried to re make me recall when they were in Atlanta scan with me some of the things that they had to do. <laughs> like take a nap during the day. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> but anyway, to my sister and to my brother, you're it. You're what I have, and we love you. Good afternoon, everyone, to my sister and my brother. Pam was in, uh, in my wedding, and if they've been married 50 years, I was near 68. <laughs> but I lost my husband 14 years ago, but that's good. You know I love you and my girls. I love you so much that I left my babies graduation in Fort Lauderdale yesterday when she got her PhD to fly in to be with me. Hi everybody, I'm from Dallas. My name is Carl Ann Halton and I knew Don before I knew Pam. <laughs> so Don uh, ran around with my brother occasionally. My brother's name was Edwin Halton. Uh, Pam was like my first little sister when she came to Prairie View in the summer. I was there. So she was like my little sister and the other three, we just, I just, uh, we adopted each other. And so we got all together and we've been like that since 59. So I love them dearly. I love both of them. And I hope this is a wonderful occasion for you. Okay. I love both of you. And I love my, my nieces. And I love all their children, okay? So, <laughs> a lot of them. Yeah, I love it. So, just want to say thank you. I think it's a wonderful occasion. I hope you guys remember. Okay? Thank you, Carl. All right. Thank you. And this is our big brother, yeah. if you guys know it. Okay. This is our husband. Okay. I'm also a brother. I'm also a friend of graduate. Uh, and I didn't hear you. I'm in 1962. And Pam, Jonelle, they thought I married them too. Yeah. So 
even after all these years, I have to remind him, I didn't marry you, so don't try to tell me what to do. John, I'm glad you got me. I don't have to worry about her anymore. All the nieces, grandnieces, nephews, and all that. The other young men in your family, keep them under control. And remember the dancing rabbits. Uh -uh. I remember yeah. the dancing rabbits. All right. I'll uh, <laughs> Back to the mind. I, um, I thought I was going to get up and say something about Dunn, but uh, someone did tell me he was talking about Pam, and I remember all of Pam's friends. Um, I knew Dunn first uh, before Pam, that's what I'm trying to say, and on behalf of my husband. Um, they were friends in uh, high school. Uh, so I'm kind of speaking on behalf of my husband, I'm speaking on behalf of your goddaughter and I'm my goddaughter. I am so proud that we have been a part of this family. I'm so glad that. Uh, we had an opportunity, I think uh, you were first, had an opportunity to uh, recruit you guys to be the parents of our daughter and uh, equally blessed that you came back and chose us. So we're just excited as a family to be still be a part of this family after 50 years. We lost my other half, but his spirit is still here and as long as we are in this family, then he'll always be here. So we are just proud of and really happy. Um, for the 50 years that you guys have, and um, we're proud and happy that we're still part of it. Thank you. So, happy anniversary. We love you, and we will be here forever. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Now it's my time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sheila, y'all. My mom and Don's mom were sisters. So, I'm the first cousin. He's my oldest cousin. <laughs> <laughs> We always told Pam and some guys that married the girls that once you get in this family, you can't get out. So that's 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 the motto of the Wesley family. So congratulations. Thank you. Let this opportunity to pass me by. Right now. And my let I you I know you all know how much I love you all and your children. We've been family for years. Her mother and my grandmother were sisters. And I loved everybody. And Pam and Don and I. This, this is the last and this is going to be one of the best. I, I met John and Pam after they've been well seasoned with the college years and the party and, and so forth. Um, when I met them, I want to bring this to Don's attention. He came to me because our children were planning to get married. And he said, what do you think about it? I said, well, I don't know her. I feel like Dallas is taking my son. And he said, well, I don't know him either. I really don't. But I'll have to say this, that my son married into a wonderful family. They have loved me and my family from Houston, welcomed us. And my son picked a good woman and a family with a good background, mentally, physically, and spiritually. So I feel safe with him here with you all because you all take care of him. I no longer worry. I know it's a sin to worry, but I'm grateful to God that he's here with all of this love. He's my son. Oh, amen. He's my son. He's your son. That's here, here, here. Thank you so much. <laughs> I lost my <laughs> <laughs>